hello everyone hi guys it's sona and welcome back to my channel today i have a brand new video and it's a sewing video i made this pants a while back and i actually recorded it but i wasn't sure if people wanted to see it but a lot of people requested me to post the video on my uh my instagram so i'm gonna be doing that i'm gonna post the video so you guys can see how i made the pants you guys should let me know if you like seeing this type of videos and i will make more of them okay i hope you guys enjoy and learn sewing this pants and if you have any questions don't hesitate to put it down in the comment section down below and i'll answer them see you guys risky risky yes you're very risky big ways five days ten days i don't dare wait for you my child So let's start guys. So first of all, what you want to do is fold your material. As well, lay it on a flat surface. It could be on a table or it could be on the floor. It's really hard to put on a floor because this was my first time doing that and my waist is literally hurting from it. But like fold it because we're going to be cutting on fold. Meaning that anytime we cut a piece, it's going to be two pieces instead of one. Which is going to be two for the front and two for the back. And make sure you pin before you start cutting like pin the folded bit pin everything maybe put like four pins on each side when you're done use your pattern or your pants or whatever you want to make i don't have any problems with me because i left everything at my shop because i thought the pandemic was gonna be for like maybe two weeks and we can go back out but guys it been it's been like three months maybe three months but okay back to what we're doing just use your pattern let me know if you guys want to see how to make patterns i bought i bought i bought patterns to make pattern materials to make patterns but they're not here so just after that just make sure you take a piece of chalk or a marker to cut to outline where you want to cut make sure you leave a seam allowance depending on what type of material you're using if the material is the same as the pants you're cutting and you want it the same size so you don't have to leave any allowance just cut it like it is if not if the material is a bit tighter leave a lot of allowance because i didn't do that and yeah i was suffering so when you're done cutting the first the front pieces take one of the pieces of the front to cut the back repeat the same thing pin the folded bit and then just take one of the pieces and spread it out on top of the on top of the material you're about to cut and when you're cutting the back piece make sure you raise the back maybe one inch or one inch and a half depending on how big your body is because it's gonna you need to you need to have more material in the back to cover your butt if not you're gonna be showing things that you don't want to be showing when you don't just pin everything and then just start cutting make sure you go slow and steady like take your time breathe and just cut maybe you can listen to music or watch a show i think i was watching something while i was cutting this because it took me so long that's because the material i decided to use was not very easy to work with it's below and you have to be careful you have to make sure you're cutting in the same direction if not you're gonna have two completely different looking material i think that happened to me but i liked it i did it on purpose I wanted the back to kind of look different than the front yeah and when you're done cutting just take out all the pins and take the two front pieces and pin the crotch area together pin where exactly you're gonna be sewing so when you get to the machine it's gonna be really easy That's what I'm doing right there. I just hold the two crotch areas and just pin them in from the waist down to the crotch area. And when I was done with the front, I did the same thing for the back. You guys make sure you like this video and comment down below any questions you have and let me know if you enjoy watching the video this piece is actually a front i mean sorry a top i made a top for the pen so you guys let me know if you want to see that too and i will post that video when you're done now it's time to make the waistband 
measure the measure your waist and mine is 27 but i went with 25 instead because i wanted it to be tight so just do that and then the width is four inches but two unfold like from the folded part to the part where you where the scissor is going to cut through is two but if you unfold it it's actually four I hope I'm making sense guys. This is my first time recording this, so I'm learning. I think I'm gonna get better, okay? I'm learning guys, don't judge me. Take it easy on me. Yeah, so when you don't just cut it and oh, we're gonna eat. I was hungry, that's actually what I get to. It's so good. <laughs> I'm annoying. But yeah, now it's time to sew. When you get to the machine, just uh, so the area that you pin we, we, we start with the crotch area just sew it and make sure you're pulling slightly the bottom piece if not it's gonna um when you get to the edge the top piece is gonna be longer than the bottom piece yeah and then take out the pins when you're done sewing it yay we're almost there and then you do the same thing for the back piece um put on your machine machine and sew it like that mm -hmm. yeah so when you're done doing the same thing you you just have to lay out the back piece on top of the machine and then take the front and make sure they are right sides kissing meaning that the right side of the materials are touching yeah because you're going to be sewing inside out am i making sense okay so when you're done with that just um sew it and like i said pull pull the piece that is on the bottom slightly if not when you get to the edge it's the top piece is gonna be way longer and that's not cute at all yeah so just keep sewing and listen to your music or whatever you want to do and you're gonna repeat the same process for all of the seams like all of them the, the crotch the two crotch seams and then the one side seam yeah Yeah, so we're done. I mean, but almost. So I went and tried the pants on, but guys, they were too tight because I made them the same size as the other pants that I was using as a pattern. Forgetting that the pants are way stretchy than this material because it is like velvet. So I tried it on, then I saw that it was too tight, and then I came back to my machine and took it out like I literally sewed it on the edge <laughs> and I forgot to add the bit when I was um, putting the waistband because I didn't do it on the same day but I'm gonna make sure I put a link down below on how you can do that yeah and this is the finished product and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if you tried to make it and feel free to comment down below your questions. These pants are really cute. I think they will look great on anyone because they're so flattering. And it's good for every weather, in my opinion. Because they're not too heavy or too light. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.